Hi, welcome to Hikatet. I'm your host, Michelangelo Barquez. And today's episode is being sponsored by Kikai Institute of Hawaii and the Guitar Foundation, where we specialize in guitar, ukulele, bass, and still guitar instruction. So give us a call. The number is in the description below. What I want to talk about today is I want to talk about the minor 7 arpeggio. Now, for the most part, uh, those of you out there who watch my video have heard me talk about your major 7 arpeggio. Um, I, I would either talk about your major 7 from this advantage point of view, or even from this point of view. But I never really talked about the minor 7 arpeggio. Uh, the minor 7 arpeggio, uh, you would get the root from the relative minor. Um, so, let's say the relative minor is an A. So, we're going to take it from the A. And then we're going to go to C. Utilizing the 1 and a 3. Some people like to use the 1 and 4. Whichever finger works for you. But what works for me is my 1 and 3. And then I'm going to go to the 5. Oh, sorry, the 7. And then I'm going to go to the 5. And then the 7. And that is my first octave. Now, from there, because most arpeggios can be done within maybe maybe 2 to 3 octaves. Depending on, on, the, on the player. But that would be my first octave. So to continue on, I would start again from the C, or the 5 off the G string, and then 5 off the B string, and then 8 off the B string, and then 5 off the high E. So that would be my second octave. To practice this arpeggio, you want to practice it in as many keys as possible. Um, generally speaking, I would probably say the most common keys would be E minor uh, because it's a G major, uh, C or A minor, or D for the B minor. So let's just practice those three keys. We have A minor, E minor and then B minor. So this would be the A minor, or A minor 7. And then we go to the E minor, because at the 12th fret would be your open E. E is the 6th degree of what relative major? Yes, G major. minor, yes, the 7th fret, because that's the relative major to D. Yeah. So now, you have not only your major 7 arpeggio, but you have your minor 7 arpeggio, and you can combine them. Maybe, maybe something like this. fast as I, I could um, because I was just giving the, the demonstration but not but okay here we go so we're going to take it from the G major 7 or in this case G major arpeggio 
Arpeggios are great. They're my favorite thing to play. Uh, when I'm soloing, uh, I'm doing arpeggios left and right because I just have so much fun with arpeggios. And I want you to have fun with the arpeggios as well. Especially if you can learn different types of arpeggio. Like the major arpeggio, the minor arpeggio, the major seven arpeggio, the minor seven arpeggio. And, and so forth. There's even diminished arpeggios. Um, there's just a whole world of arpeggios that you need to dive in and get familiar with. Well, my time is about run up. So, uh, if you want to hear me play anything, uh, write me at SocratesBestFriend at Yahoo.com That's S-O-C-R-A-T BestFriend at Yahoo.com and I will learn it and I will try to get it on the air um, as, as far as I know I have a lot of things to, to show you guys from the Wade Solo to the Justice League theme so I have a lot of things on my plate but keep giving keep sending me those emails because I will get them to you and I want you to subscribe and just don't hit the little bell one time but hit it twice so you get my latest uploads or my my latest feeds hmm. yeah but hit the hit the, the bell thing twice so you see that little design over the bell and that way you can get all my latest uploads guaranteed alright this is Michelangelo and I want to see your name in lights <laughs>